Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to warp faces in Photoshop. It's very easy. Let me show you how to do it. First step, I've got a picture loaded in here. The next step, I'm going to take this image or any image if you're following along, drag and drop it on top of that plus icon at the bottom right. That's going to create a duplicate copy. So we can work on the top copy and we can compare it to the bottom copy later. All right, the next step, making sure you're selected on the top one, is you want to go up to filter and you want to select the liquify filter. This is the money filter. Okay, let's click on that. And it's going to open up the liquify options. It takes a few seconds if you're on a slower computer. And presto, here we go. Now, chances are when you first open this, you are going to be selected on the forward warp tool. That, in most cases, is what you want to use. Now, I'm going to show you here a few things. I'm just going to go do some really big stuff to really push it and show you what you can do. Okay, so I'm making these monster googly eyes here. And, yeah, that's a bit much. So I'm going to drag that back. I'm going to drag that back. Whoa, look at the size of the irises. Okay, I'm going to cancel that Command Z out of it. So I just wanted to show you very quickly that with this tool, you can do some amazing stuff. So in this one... We're going to spread her eyes out a bit bigger. We're going to make them wider and higher. And basically, I just want to show you what can be done. And again, what you do is totally up to you, but I'm just going to go ahead and start doing some work here just to show you. Okay, cool. So we're making big lizardy reptile eyes for her, okay? And we're going to make them even bigger because I really want to push the boundary here. Okay, good. Now, so this is the forward warp tool. And this can help you make some very great adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, make her give her a crinkly smile and a droopy lip. I'm going to make her forehead bigger. Do you see what I'm doing here, guys? This is how you go ahead and make big changes and you warp faces just using this one tool. Now, there are a few other tools on the left side here. The ones in particular that you may want to consider are the pucker and the bloat tool. The bloat tool expands and the pucker pulls in. I'm going to just bloat maybe her nose a little bit. So let's see here. I'm just going to go around it. And you'll see here as I hover over it and I left click, it's just slowly bloating it. It's not a huge uh, adjustment, but you can see it when I do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and bloat around the edge of her eyes. Just keep in mind that, yes, you can go ahead and use these two tools. They're quite useful. Also, while I have you, I will show you the other options here are on the right side. You have Face Aware Liquify. This is another way of just changing the eye size. So if you want to make them bigger, I'll just do this really quickly here to show you the eye height. The going to jack it up all the way. The eye width, we're going to make wider eyes. It doesn't have quite the same effect as the uh, forward warp tool. But you can see here that when you jam them up to 100, yeah, it starts to make a pretty big deal. If you want to go past that, you can, of course, go and use the forward warp tool. Let's space the eyes out a little bit. Let's go with something like that. Make the nose height a little different. The nose will make the nose super small. And we'll make her smile super wide. And the bottom line is here, guys, is you can make all sorts of adjustments here. Let's make her mouth really, really wide. And we're going to make her face wider. Like, we're really going for it. We're going to give her a thicker SpongeBob jaw. Going to make her chin. No, we're going to take her chin down. Yeah, we're going to give her a... And we're going to go, instead of a forehead, you see here we can work on the forehead. We're going to give her a five head. Guys, you hit OK on that. And boom, it's going to do the calculation. And presto, this is the new person. This is the old. That's all there is to it, guys. That's how you warp inside Adobe. Warp faces inside Adobe Photoshop. Thanks for watching. I'll be back soon.